Well, welcome back to Decoupage. I'm Summer Caprice, and I'm just sitting here thinking. You know, this is my first show, and all, you know we are taking into account that the Nielsen's are watching us. But other than that, the word of mouth response we have gotten for this first show is just astounding. Cards, letters, gifts even, people have sent. And you know, this show, the making of this show, was built on a lot of love, a lot of friends, and just a lot of support. And since there is such a variety of input here, that's sort of why I chose the name Decoupage. Because to me, Decoupage, the name signifies something like a bouillabaisse, or an ambrosia of friends, love, and self-expression. And I want our show to be very open. We want all different kinds of people on the show. I want to cover everything from the wild to the wooly, to the, from the real to the unreal. And, you know, it's, it's sort of a Dinah Shore show with a, oh, an Oprah, an Alicia Sandoval, with a little Dusty's Treehouse thrown in. <laughs> to me, it's like, Daddy, let your hair hang down. If you're having a problem, come on, decoupage, we'll deal with it. That's what I want. I want freedom and openness and love. Now, speaking of these cards and letters, here I have a card sent from New York. This is from a Steve Doughton. The card says, stand way back. This card is loaded with love. And it's, he, Steve writes, Dear Summer, I'm so happy to hear you have a talk show. That's great. Your interpretive jazz dancing was always the coolest. You've got the hottest legs in the biz. The sushi is on me next time you're in New York. Keep on trucking, love, Steve. Now, you know, isn't that nice? Wasn't that nice? Now, a lot of people have asked me, Summer, are you going to dance again? And of course the answer is yes. But right now, I'm exercising my mouth on decoupage, and I'm giving my gams a rest. <laughs> and you know, in addition to this, Steve has enclosed this beautiful flower pin. And I am just going to add this to the flower tree. This is our flower tree, which seems to be in very good bloom this time of year. And since it's a little difficult to pin on, I'm just going to stick it in there. Isn't that nice? We're always looking forward to more flower pins on the show. Here I have another card. This one comes with a gift as well. And look at that beautiful drawing on the back and that beautiful envelope. Here's a, the card. And inside, it simply reads, I love you. <laughs> Dear Ms. Caprice, my daughter loves you. She knows how you like crafts, so she made this goblet for you in school. We really hope you like it. Maybe you can drink your Seago in it on the show. Good luck, Allison and Tiffany Anders, Hollywood. And here's the goblet she made. Now, isn't this nice? Pretty good for a junior glass blower. But I like my Seago in a can. Seago, it's good for your ego. <laughs> 